It's good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. Right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there. Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike But you, you can't ignore the truth. Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now, by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider Oda. yourself... What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jigjig Street. 
We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? G.G. Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware. You mock me. Too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? I'm just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me. Either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less? Bukako. Long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ha, a true gentleman. Ha, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You wanna make him? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, 
and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws... Kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer? A wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? What is it? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a river dog. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No, why? Technique second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guys hurt you, 
got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy him back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. But jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop hey. mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again C point for the other team huh huh this is why you don't bring back fallen warriors Please? sooner or later they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Feeling tired, bored, powerless, not What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Preen, thanks.
I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help us tune out. I need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Cause it's funny. Cause I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist jib. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You not happy to meet him?
Lusaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's changed all the same. Sure, now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants.
Hey, Judy, what's up? V, can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop was, talking. I was only gone an hour. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Simba! 
No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you... ...you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know... To you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But... They must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bum a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But... Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. She smokes some strange boutique brand. That's Evie. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn? Who she really was? No. Nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging, and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. No idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. 
Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. <laughs>